Holy moly! This thing works so well. Hey, my name is Theodore. I built this little tool in React using ChatGPT, technically GPT-3, and basically what it does is it allows you to create an entire WordPress website with one click. Now, not really. There's a few clicks you have to make, and I've set it up in a way so that you could actually have a expert of whatever the topic is review each post individually to make sure that the content is actually accurate and it flows well and everything. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how this software works. This is something that I made for myself so that I can make like I think I'm gonna try to make like 30 websites. It's gonna take a while to set them up in the hosting and everything, but to test some SEO stuff. So on some, I'm gonna do like 5,000 posts. On some, I'm gonna do like 10 images per post. And it's basically gonna allow me to test a bunch of stuff using AI and the fact that I can scale these websites very quickly. Uh, and that's like the main purpose I made this tool. So enough rambling about it. I wanna show you how it works. So the first thing is you can add a single keyword. So uh, can poodles jump high? Um, we can try that and maybe we want to add 50 keywords. Maybe we don't want to click the button every time and add them in. So I added this feature where you could do like, um, how much water do poodles need each day? And then you push the enter button and now you can enter another keyword just like that. And there's actually a drag and drop thing here. So like I said, you could do 50 keywords, 100 keywords, however many you want to do, you can put in here. And then we click this add multiple keywords, it adds them to our list. And so now that since they're in our list, let's go ahead and click the save button and it's going to take those and add them to a database. Um, and then you can see over here, they are red because they are not created yet. So if I go ahead and click on them, I actually have it set up now that it'll automatically create the uh, actual post. So before I was actually generating the outline and then checking the outline. And then once the outline was good, I clicked fill text and then it would uh, basically fill in the text but you can see here it automatically generated an intro and then it automatically generated an actual let me see if I can remove my face really quick right here well that wasn't right there we go so it actually generated the snippet as well and you can see the snippet uh, we know that snippets are supposed to include a lot of facts so you can see here there's a number there's a number there's an entity American Kennel Club there and then it goes into and it basically takes the keyword which is our poodles aggressive and turns it into a five point outline and this is point number one this is point number two this is going to be point number three and then after that it takes each uh, headline and then turns it into basically a few paragraphs so now we can actually have an expert, maybe someone who actually owns a poodle, uh, go through here and make sure that all this stuff is true about poodles. Uh, which, by the way, I've actually done this and an expert actually did not know I generated it with AI. Like I hired them on Upwork to add custom images into an article that I had AI generated. And they literally said, this was a really good article. I actually learned some things from it. So that really surprised me. Anyways, once we're happy with the article, we can click the save button. And what that will do is it'll actually turn it green over here. And now we can jump to the next article to basically proofread it. So we can go ahead and click on can poodles jump high. We click on it, it'll automatically start loading the post. We can check it, and when we like what the article looks like, we can then click the save button. And when we're done with that, we can go on to the third one, and you can see that it's working on it here. The one thing I'll note, I have it set up in the back end to only create five headlines. If I wanted it to make 20 headlines, I could do that as well. Or three headlines, basically I can vary the length of the article uh, very easily just by making, adding more headlines, which it then automatically writes a bunch of text for. So you can see here, this one is done, I believe. We scroll down to the bottom. Oh, it also pulls videos from YouTube. So this is another thing that like kind of I found in my own SEO experience, just adding a YouTube video even if it's not yours seems to help the page rank so i've been putting those on there and so it actually uses a youtube api to grab that so i'm gonna go ahead and click the save button and we'll go back to the main keyword section now if i wanted to i could click this download button here to only download this post um, you can see it's an xml file but if i go back to the main keywords here and i click download all check this out it'll download an entire xml file that basically we can import straight into WordPress. So I've got a test website here, and I don't know if you know this, but you don't have to pay $250 for an import-export plugin. Uh, WordPress actually gives you one for free. So you go to Tools over here, you click on Import, and I've already done this, but there's a thing here you gotta click on like Download Importer, and then once you've downloaded it, you just click on Run Importer. And now you can actually, if you're moving a site, you can just use the export feature, but in this case, I've actually downloaded a custom XML from this tool. So I'm going to go ahead and take this .xml that I created, drag and drop it into this choose file here, and you can see that it's right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and click upload file and import. And now this is going to be taking that information that I just downloaded and putting it onto my blog. So it wants me to select a new author to put this on. So I'm going to go ahead and select the default one and click submit. Again, if you're doing more than 50 posts, sometimes it takes a little bit to load because it's uploading so many. 
But once it's done, it says all done, have fun. If we go to posts and click on all posts here, we can see those three posts that we just generated are here. Look at this. And if I actually view this, let's click on the page, our poodle's aggressive. This is actually a pretty decent looking article. I mean, it looks, it doesn't look like a robot wrote this, even though technically it was all written by AI and then it imports the video at the bottom. Um, and what this is, I, again, I created this for myself and what I'm going to be using this for is I hope not necessarily, I'm not doing this to make money necessarily. I'm going to be doing this to launch like 30 websites where I can test stuff. So for example, I can make one website where I do 5,000 posts. I can do another website where I interlink a whole bunch of articles like really tightly. I just like three internal links per post. I can do another one where I put like 10 images per post. I can make another one where all the articles are 10,000 words long. And personally, I can actually test all of this stuff myself to see what works. And then I can simply move what works over to my actual websites that have been sitting around for seven years and gaining DA and building those backlinks. Um, I also wanted to show you something about this. This is a tool called originality.ai. And what I have found is that this entire article will actually pass the AI test. So if I go here and I copy this, um, actually, by the way, I have a tool. I can click on Word Counter Plus, and this article is 1,300 words. So AI just generated me a 1,300 word article. If I post it in here, so I'm just going to post it in there just like that, and I click on Scan Now, this is going to blow your mind. Um, I don't know if this is at fault of the originality.ai tool or if this is due to my prompting of how I created this article. Let's take a look at to see what this AI detector thinks of my a actually AI generated website. So we're going to take a look whenever this thing finishes. 100% original. Are you serious? I made this thing all in AI. I did not type a word of this article. So I do want to preface this by saying what I have found with originality.ai, if you do larger sections, it almost always comes up original. So again, this was a completely AI created article. It comes up 100% original in this tool. Um, however, if I do just a section, so let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do this section here. We'll copy it. We'll put it into originality.ai. And because this is a smaller like sentence of text, I guarantee it's going to come up with a little bit more AI generated like detection. Um, one thing I have noticed about this originality.ai tool. Oh my goodness. It still is hundred percent. This is not good. My AI content is not detectable by this tool. Um, even smaller sections. In the past, what I have found is that smaller sections come up as more positive as AI. Even if I write something myself that is like, I wrote the entire thing, if it's only a couple sentences, this detector will say that it's AI written. Um, which again, I'm not completely sure how... Holy moly! This thing works so well. Wow. The detector is either not working or I have prompted this thing to work pretty dang well. Anyways, I just wanted to show you this tool that I built for myself to be able to test with um, because I am wondering in the future if I add like a user's feature to this where I can basically sell it, um, I'd be interested to see if other people could get use out of this tool as well because I did spend like two weeks um, and like some late nights working on this tool, getting it to actually work. So if you're curious about this tool, leave a comment below. Um, like I said, I'm going to be using this for my own website. So if you're interested to see the case study of some AI websites that are 100% AI generated, I literally just give it a list of keywords. I click a button and then boom, all the articles are done. Make sure to click that subscribe button because we have some of those videos coming when the data comes in. Anyways, I just wanted to share with you that some of this technology is coming. What I just created is what you will be competing with in the next couple years. In fact, when GPT-4 comes out, all I have to do is switch out GPT-3. All I have to do as a software developer is take DaVinci-003 and replace it with DaVinci-004 or whatever the version of GPT-4 is, and then instantly my content will all get better. So this is how I'm staying up to date with AI stuff. I'd love to learn to know how you are keeping up to date with AI stuff in this ever evolving world of AI that just keeps improving, specifically in the SEO space. Anyways, thank you so much for your time. I really hope you appreciated this video. I hope it opened your eyes into what's coming in the world of AI and blogging. And if you found this interesting or you want to watch those case studies, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel. It means the world to me if you sat through this entire video. I'm really proud of this project. Like I said, I spent a lot of time on it. And I hope to see you in the next video.